Okay, so here we've got an anodization bath. We're going to anodize this aluminum. I've made some uh, cathodes out of quarter inch aluminum plate, drilled some holes in them, ran some quarter inch aluminum rod, bent it around the back so that you've got both the cathodes connected. A cathode is just the negative side of the battery terminal. So you can see that. And then we've got the hanging rod, which can be the positive. So we're going to hook the positive right here. We're going to probably hook the negative right here. And this is a solution of uh, two parts water, one part water to two parts sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is just uh, basically battery acid. You can get it at any auto parts, most of them. So we're going to give this a shot. Okay, so here we've got your basic battery charger. I got this from AutoZone. Uh, they've got a lot of fancy ones that do a lot of automatic stuff, but you don't want that kind. You want the kind that just charges and it shows you uh, the amps we're going to do. This is set on 2 amps. We're going to do this on 10 amps. So you do 10 amps for 15 minutes. So I've got the negative cable already connected. Next thing you want to do is plug the battery charger in. We're going to do that. All right, we got that plugged in. And then we're going to connect the positive cable to our hanger. Saw a little spark there. So that now we're going to charge this. We're going to let this sit for uh, 15 minutes. One thing you can see going on is it's bubbling there along the cathode. That's what you want to see. Uh, so it's bubbling on both sides so we know that we've got an electrical charge happening. Okay, so while that's cooking, we're going to set up our dye pan. So I'm just using right liquid dye, cherry red. I've got a hot plate, a meatloaf pan. Uh, we're going to fill that with distilled water and put about three or four tablespoons of red dye in that water and heat it up to 140 degrees. Okay, so we've got our dye in the pan. We've got our thermometer installed. This is the kind you can just get this at, at Kroger also. It just clips on the back. We want to get that to 140 degrees, which is somewhere right around where that connector is. Okay, we've got the part that's been uh, sitting in the sulfuric acid bath. We've got to go now rinse it off with the distilled water real quick. All right, we've got it rinsed off. We've got our dye bath almost up to temperature I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there sit it down roll it around in there the longer you let it sit the darker it gets that color you see right there is probably gonna be the finished color but you have to let it sit for a while keep rolling it around it'll start soaking up the color the longer it sits in there Okay, so it's only been in there for probably a minute. You can see it's already starting to uh, soak up the color pretty good. So we're gonna leave it in there a little bit longer. Let it soak up a little more. We're only at about 110 degrees, so. Okay, so the part's been in the dye bath for three or four minutes, and it's nice and uh, red now. That's a cherry red dye, and I think that's about what we got here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to remove this pan, put on a pan of distilled water, and boil this. What boiling accomplishes is it closes the pores of the part, which then seals in the aluminum color. So we're now uh, boiling the water. We'll set the part in the boiling water as soon as it gets going. 
Okay, so we've got the water pretty much at boiling now. So we're going to take the part and just drop it in. Like that. Let's see there, I think we're right at uh, we were at 200, about 220 right there. So we're going to let that sit a little bit. When you put it in the, the water, it does bleach a little bit of the color off. So that's why you want to leave it in the dye pan. Let it soak up as much color as possible. So we'll just leave it in here for a few minutes. So again, this is the distilled water that we're boiling. So we're basically baking in the color on the aluminum part. Once you boil it, the color will stick, it won't come off. We've got it about up to boiling temperature. None of this has to be absolutely accurate. Uh, should, those are just guidelines. But you can see the water's pretty hot. It's still about 200 degrees. So we're gonna take it out, rinse it off, and that, that'll be the part. I'll show it to you when we're done. Okay, so here's the finished part. Uh, just took and rinsed it off. It's still a little bit warm, but that's what you get anodized aluminum color any color you want right liquid dye comes in 40 colors so pick your color